working for Benny Anderson or Abba. When, when the king is present, and he's oh, okay. completely secure. After a quiet night outside of Stockholm, we are going to visit Sweden's capital today. We go by car and park a little bit outside of the city center in Solna, close to the mall of Scandinavia. We pay city toll and for parking of course too. From here we continue our journey by train and buy two tickets. Solna is just two stations from the city center. The train comes soon, and after a short time, we arrive in the city center. Stockholm City. From here, we go to the tourist information. We buy two tickets for the sightseeing bus and pay 900 Swedish crowns. The ticket includes a boat tour and is valid for two days. Bye, have a nice day. We get off at the castle in Gamblerstan and explore the area by foot. We circle the castle and meet Simon on the north side, somebody who really knows here. Uh, this is the Stockholm Palace, built on top of the ruins of the castle uh, Three Crowns. Uh, it's been the king's workplace for a couple of hundred years. Uh, and uh, more here for the ceremonial purposes. Uh, this is where everything work related to the king happens. He lives in an other part of Sweden, but he usually comes through here, and the royal family also comes through here. Um, and uh, it has been guarded for 500 years now, I think, Five, 501. I've been working here for about two years. Uh, I work at the Royal Lifeguard, more specifically the King's Company. We stand here during the summers, uh, guard the, uh, basically the workplace of the King. Have you seen the Royal Family here at work? 
Yes, they come through every so often. Uh, we don't hang out really. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we have some events where we see them, and other events we don't. It's kind of a 50 50. So you know the Swedish king, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't say I know him, I've seen him, but never yeah. talked to him. Oh, okay, okay. When, when the king is present, we are his royal guard. Mm. And uh, in that, we don't strike up conversations because we are on the clock. We're there for security and for uh, ceremonial purposes. And in those purposes, there isn't any room to talk. I think the... Uh, as we stand here, I can't speak. It's allowed. But otherwise, in those kinds of ceremonies, think of us like the British Royal Guard. We stand there silent. Our job is as security and ceremonial guards. Is there a ceremony when God's changing? Yes, Especially? Okay. it is. Uh, at 12.15, every time we actually change the guard, Right now, because of uh, COVID, it hasn't been as grandiose as it usually is. Because it's, uh, the usual is that it involved a uh, parade through Stockholm. We see us walking from uh, uh, the other side of Stockholm, basically, to here. And uh, music plays, and it's uh, a big ceremony at the uh, outer courtyard. But uh, as of now, it's nah. we just change the guards. Basically. Simon's shift is over, and also we go further to the old town. From the old marketplace, we go back to the castle and have a quick look into the outer and inner yard. Also here the castle is strictly guarded. You have the opportunity to visit the castle. But we want to use the nice weather and go further towards the port. We don't have much time to rest because our boat is coming soon.
On the boat tour, we learned some interesting facts. Every morning, when Sweden is at peace, the flag on Kastelholmen is raised. Now, for more than 200 years, Sweden was not involved in the world wars. And we learn that Sweden is one of the biggest music exporting countries in the world. That's interesting, and we want to find out more. Okay, there's a museum, but we want to meet the people behind the success and want to take a look behind the scenes. We do some research and it leads us to a small brick building. Here we are going to meet the man who worked on several number one hits. I am Bernard Lohr, uh, actually Lohr, you are German, so you know what yeah. an O with two dots are, <laughs> so that's my name, and I'm, I'm a sound engineer, producer, mixer, mixing engineer, I work um, mixing here, yeah. primarily I'm uh, working for Benny Anderson of ABBA, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we record and, and uh, we have another studio on the other side of the field here where, is, where you can take more musicians. Yeah. Uh, but this is the place where we mix. Mm -hmm. So we have, for instance, mixed those movies here mm -hmm. for the, the soundtrack to the movies. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that is basically what we're doing here. It's a big mixing room, maybe the the best in Sweden and maybe in Europe also. <laughs> we have all the equipment we want. We built this studio in... This studio is built 1998, I think. So it's 23 years old right now. Mm -hmm. But we had done... There, of course, had other studios before that. Have you met some stars here in person? Yes, the yes, we have, also. we have recorded, for instance, Meryl Streep in here. Uh, for the first Mamma Mia movie, she was here. Mm. And uh, I, have, yeah, I, of course, met ABBA, the whole group. And uh, there's been a lot of mixing in this room for Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, mm -hmm. and all of those. Uh, during the late 90s, beginning of the 2000s, there was uh, a lot of mixes I did mm -hmm. for those uh, type of that, that type of music. Celine Dion was he also mixed here, and uh, yeah. Do the singer come in person to the studio? Usually, uh, the artists never come. We just get uh, the producer coming over or or okay. somebody. In, in charge of the tracks, so then we mix and then we send it to to the artists to approve. So. So the stars don't come in person, but they usually not. It. But but for instance, okay. Meryl Streep and, and Amanda Seyfried, who you see on that picture, yeah. they have been here singing by themselves. So. Mm. Backing Mixed track with the orchestra is uh, has been recorded in in a bigger studio where you can have all musicians. So, for instance, the new movie, the new Mamma Mia movie, which is on that door, it's uh, all the mu music was recorded in this studio over there. And then the vocals, most of the vocals are recorded in London at Air Studios. And then we mix it here. And um, also when we use symphonic or orchestra for the movies, we did that in London. We have one last question. May we watch you for a while at work? No, I don't think so, because I'm working on something that is okay. completely secure. Ah, okay. So, okay. Yeah. A few weeks after our visit, ABBA released the new comeback album, Voyage. Was that the secret project he was working on? We don't know. We are glad that Mr. Lur could take some time for us. Thank you for the look behind the scenes and thank you for the music. We knew interesting people 
and had a lot of fun to interview them. The people here were friendly and open-minded. What would you like to ask from Mr. Le or Simon? Please tell us in the comments. After an eventful day trip, we leave Stockholm and already stumble into our next image. These are the situations I always try to avoid. Don't forget to subscribe and to switch off.